Jesus, you get this all going. Man, what is that? SPA, it's a skater speaking. Alright guys, welcome to the inaugural episode of Skiers Paranormal Adventures. I'm your boy Skeet and I'll be your supernatural beast slayer throughout this series. And this right here is SPA Shed Quarters. By no means necessary for all zoning purposes. I don't live in here. This is just where old Skeet goes in. We gather evidence, we come up with a game plan to slaughter these supernatural beasts. Oh, shit. Hey guys, welcome to Inside of SPA Shed Quarters, your first look inside of here. I was out fishing today, which by the way, I caught me a big bass. Your boy Skeet's going to eat good tonight. I got a phone call, got me excited as all get out. This guy called me explaining a Class A haunting where they have phantom winds blowing in, electric, electronics turning on and off and things of that nature, hearing footsteps and doors closing and the whole night, man. But yeah, his belief, he thinks that it might be his sister who died last year at a family reunion barbecue. He was playing charades and she had an untimely aneurysm and passed away there. But uh, they're worried it's getting a little bit more sinister, so they called SPA, Scares Paranormal Adventures to kind of get to the bottom of this. You can always leave it to the old skier, so the hell with tippy toe. Let's dive head on in. Uh, let's get to the bottom of this one. Alright guys, this week we're dealing with a spirit, a hymen, which means it was a living person that has passed on. And they got some sort of attachment still here in this realm. So here plainly, I'll just draw you out a picture here to kind of get you started knowing what a spirit is, what they look like, what to look for. Here, let's see. Alright guys, your basic ghost and your basic spirit, they all look the same. This is what we all look like on the inside when you die. This is what your spirit looks like. If you got an attachment here on this realm, this is what you'll come back and you'll look like. You know, some of them might have a little arm to like that. Alright, right there's your typical grade A spirit. And this is what they've been seeing. This is what they've been hearing. And uh, yeah, right there's that. That's a pretty good drawing. I might say myself with my little John Hancock going out there. When you're dealing with these spirits, like I just showed you there in the drawing, these ghosts that got some sort of attachment, things you might experience and how you can tell they're around you. You might smell like a fragrance, maybe a perfume that your dead loved one might have wore, maybe some cigar smoke, something like that. You know, feel some cold air rushing into the room. Hearing these, these footsteps or doors or knockings, that's unexplainable. These are the things you might deal with. Now, Skinner's going to show you the things that you're going to need to take care of and to get rid of these spirits, these ghosts. Alright, get out my good utility box here. Now, the number one thing you're going to remember, because this is your safety we're talking about here, is salt. It's a natural element that can't pass through. Now, we covered the salt, got to get the good salt ring around you, a spirit can't pass over that salt, you'll be safe inside of that salt ring. Number two thing you need, always have a flashlight, because odds are you're going to be going into some dark spaces and you're always going to need to see, so you make sure you bring the flashlight. A third item you're going to need is a good ghost meter. Now this picks up on their heartbeat, their pulse, 
and it'll let you know when one's round. Kind of get a little, little chirping sound. It'll pick up. It works. Trust me. Skeeter uses them all the time. So far, we've gotten a good utility box here. We've got our salt. We've got our flashlight. We've got our ghost meter. There's one more thing we're going to need for protection, and that is iron. Just in case they brush you and you're not quite in your solid circle yet, you're going to need some iron. Let's see what we've got over here. This should do. Now we're ready to go do some spirit busting. Alright guys, we're actually on location now. Uh, we're down here in the basement. We just put lights out. Uh, trying to figure out what's holding this spirit to this realm. Uh, I think the first thing we need to do is just do a quick EMF sweep to get this set up here. So we'll go ahead and do a quick base lock here. Obviously we got uh, some sort of spirit down here with us. Uh, what we're going to do now is move over here to the table, let's put some trigger, put some trigger objects out and try to try to get this thing. Alright guys, from that EMF spike, I'm for certain we got something down here. What I don't know, but I think these complaints might be true. So we got some electronics here for them to mess around with, try to draw this spirit out. We got a fan, we got a computer. I'll tell you one thing right now, it's going to take a hell of a lot more than old uh, EMF spike to scare skaters. Hey, look at that. Oh, shit. Man, I turn it on. Look at that. It's on monster jobs. What are you on monster jobs? Holy Jesus Christ, on monster jobs, that fan's blowing. Look at this shit. Look at this Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Let me get this shell going. It's your boy Skate. I think we all learned a lot tonight. Uh, that poor spirit was stuck here just because charades. She wanted somebody to guess her charade words, and obviously I got kind of confused there. You know, I thought she was making a pants an old skater. The words is blow job, and uh, the spirit's laid to rest now. So it's a guy. It's a job well done by SPA. Um, this is your boy Skater. At least one job got done tonight, and uh, it's another case closed. So until next week, leave it to Skater and I'll talk to you down the road.